everybody. How are you feeling today? Today I'm going to tell you a very famous fairy tale called Little Red Riding Hood. Caperucita Roja. Yes, I'm sure that you already know the book and the story. This is super nice. Grandma is ill in bed, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. Will you take this basket of food to her? Make sure you stay on the path. There's a big bad wolf in the forest. And Little Red Riding Hood said, I can't see any wolves, thought Little Red Riding Hood as she set off to the forest. This is the forest, you see? It's beautiful and dark. What is this? That's a spider web. Yes, and a little rabbit. What color is the rabbit? Exactly, white. Well done. Little Red Riding Hood skipped along and saw some pretty flowers. Grandma will love those flowers, she thought. And so she wandered off the path to pick them. A lot of flowers, do you see? She's picking the flowers for Grandma. And there are lots of birds. Mommy bird, baby birds. How many baby birds do you see in the net? One, two, three baby birds. Let's see what happens. Oh, I can see the wolf. Can you see the wolf here? Here. She's, he's looking at a little red riding hood. Hello, little girl, growled a voice. It was the big bad wolf. <gasps> what are you doing? He asked. Picking flowers for grandma, said little red riding hood. The wolf grinned. How nice, he said. Why not pick those flowers too? Then he slunk away. He disappeared. Once she had picked the pretty posy, Little Red Riding Hood followed the path to Grandma's house. Little did she know, but the wolf had got there before her. When Little Red Riding Hood arrived, she knocked and went inside. She knocked. Grandma, it's me. Hello, Grandma. It's me. Little Red Riding Hood called as she put the basket on the table. You see, she is inside the house. I'm in bed. Come through, dear, said a rather gruff voice. Little Red Riding Hood went into the bedroom. <gasps> what big ears you have, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood in surprise. All the better to hear you with, came the reply. What big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, came the reply. <gasps> what big teeth you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to eat you with, came the reply. In a flash, the wolf leaped out of bed <gasps> and swallowed Little Red Riding Hood whole. Then he waddled out of the house with a full belly. <gasps> Little Red Riding Hood is here. Oh! Can you peep inside his belly to make sure Little Red Riding Hood is all right? <gasps> Hello, Grandma. Did the wolf swallow you too? Yes, he did. Oh! Let me out! And me! Let us out! <gasps> a woodcutter was passing by and heard he cries for help. 
The woodcutter ran over and cut open the wolf's belly. Out sprang Grandma and Little Red Riding Hood. <gasps> Thank God! Grandma sewed up the wolf's belly with stones inside. That will teach you not to eat people, she said. Then they sent the wolf on his way, and they never ever saw him again. Goodbye. The end. I hope you liked it. Now be careful of the wolf. Bye bye, boys and girls. Bye bye, dear friends.